Hey Aquarius, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Let's go ahead and get right into it. It should resonate sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Those of you guys that are cross watching, sometimes you have to flip it, so keep that in mind. All right, Aquarius, what's going on with Aquarius? What messages do you have for Aquarius when it comes to love and romance? Ooh, Aquarius, there looks like there is some type of, rec some type of reconciliation that's on the way for you and a person. You and them may be at odds right now where you're not seeing eye to eye, or there may have been some type of recent argument where you had to make some type of decision here. Um, or your person needed to make some type of decision with what exactly they were going to do. And I feel like right now is a time where you're really being guided right now to certain people, places, and things. And I feel like with your person, it's almost like your person is avoiding your connection together. It's, it, it's bizarre to me because I feel like they were guided to you. But for whatever the reasoning is, it's like this person I feel like isn't necessarily accepting or ready to acknowledge the, the, the commitment or the connection between the two of you. And I feel like because of this Aquarius, it's creating this roller coaster of emotions, right? This roller coaster where when things are good, things are good, right? Things are, are great. But I think that as much as things can be amazing, things can also be not okay as well, right? I, for some reason with roller coaster here, there is a flux in emotions. And um, it's funny, I was talking to a beautiful Aquarius last night and the one thing that I said to her about roller coaster is the fact that it's almost like this person goes in and out of masculine energy and dips down into this feminine ener energy, right? And I feel like as Aquariuses, you guys have a masculine, um, Aquarius is a masculine sign, right? So you guys have the ability to have a very dominant energy or you can take a more feminine approach. And I feel like with this person, their energy always fluxes between a masculine and then it dips back down to this feminine energy. And I'm saying that because you also have the feminine energy that's here. And I feel like for you guys, it's almost like for you, you're really going to stay in your truth. I think that you understand your worth right now. I don't feel like you're, you're budging. You know, you've made your decision up about what you want in life, what you want from a partner. And I feel like for you guys, you're done talking about it. For some of you, you're going quiet, you're going silent because you're allowing this person the time that they need to come up with some type of, you know, conclusion. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're tired of this person not taking any actions. You're tired of this person. I feel like with this person, you know, it's like they pop off and then they go quiet, right? Silent non-action. And I feel like it's frustrating. But I also get too, though, that everything right now that's happening with inside of your relationship, it's meant to happen. So if there is this pause, the pause is here because this person is avoiding something that they need to change. This person is avoiding elevating. This person is, is avoiding doing the right thing. So I think the fact that um, Aquarius, reconciliation is coming in, but I feel like it's going to be your decision with whether or not you want to reconcile with this person. Because I feel like right now you're being very guided to focus on your family, focus on your children, focus on your, on your own self-worth. Because I feel like with this person, it's almost like you had to put their ass in time out. Like go on a Caillou, go, go sit your big headed ass in the corner. And then you, you think about that shit. Then you come holler at me. Like Aquarius, like you're, you're, you're just taking on a very different role, I feel like. I don't know why, but I'm getting that energy like overwhelmingly. Like you're, you're not putting up with their shit. I feel like this person is hella childish and they like to throw like little tantrums or little fits. But I also get at the same point in time, there is going to be a fresh start with this person. I, I just get overwhelmingly that whoever you're dealing with, I think that they're scared of commitment. I think that this person is scared of any type of situation or any type of relationship that it requires them to have a level of emotional attachment. And I feel like it's probably because with this person, they've been betrayed in the past, right? This person has probably been cheated on, lied to, and there's a lot of fear when it comes to you because I think that when this person allows you to come close, Aquarius, it's like, it's almost like getting too close to the sun, like it can burn you, right? And I feel like with this person, they're scared that you're gonna betray them. And I also think that they have a lot of, um, 
they have a lot that's happened in the past when they were children or even like relationship wise where they have a hard time trusting. I think that they're scared what it would be like to have this new start because whoever you're dealing with Aquarius, they've been doing the same thing for a period of time. So you're over here like, hey, you know, we can do this or we don't have to. It's really up to you. Um, and I do get also that with this person, I think that they're scared to be alone, but I also think that they're scared to acknowledge how they really feel about you. Because with this person, they're, they're going to have to ascend, right? They're, they're going to have to change their frequency in order to elevate or in order to vibe at where you're vibing at. And with you, Aquarius, I feel like you and this person, you're having this major spiritual awakening with them. And it's crazy because when you give somebody a spiritual awakening, that's a type of energy that is so unique and so beautiful. And I feel like when it comes to you guys, this spiritual awakening, this elevation, this, this change in frequency, I feel like it's scaring this person because they have to change who they are. At the same point of them being scared to change because they're scared that you're going to betray them, at that same point, they don't want to lose you because they feel like, you know, they want more of you. It's like not enough for them. It's almost like coming in as like an addictive type of energy where it's like one hit of you and they can't, it's, it's like they want more and more and more. And I feel like with this person, that's why they tend to create a level of limitation or a divide between you and them because it's like emotions, their soul, it's getting too connected. And I feel like it's not enough for this person. And with this person, they know that when they truly say, Aquarius, you're my person, that's it. It's a wrap, son. Yeah, and, and I get that, you know, there's, there's conflict here. I think that there's petty arguments that this person is creating for no reason. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Those people that will randomly start a fight just because, you know, they're uncomfortable. But I feel like with this person... You know, this argument that you guys are having or this weird moment that you guys are going through, this, this is going to end, okay? Like this weird place that you and them are in, it does have a time frame, I feel like. And honestly, if you guys are in a break, this break is necessary in order for you and them to kind of come back together. Because I feel like what it's doing is it's allowing this person some time to think. Really think about what they want in life. Think about, you know, how they want to progress. Thinking about, you know, how do they really feel about you? The problem is, Aquarius, this person is very emotionally connected. So the more emotionally connected they are, they're going to push you away. It's, it's, it's very much like that thing, you know, in school when a boy likes you and they're mean to you. And you're like, why? You know what I mean? I'm not saying it's right. But I'm just saying like it's that type of energy where there is a level of immaturity when it comes to a deep spiritual connection. And I feel like with this person, they've been thinking a lot about what this is. And, and I feel like part of the problem is, you know, they met you, they were floating along fine. And then all of a sudden they're coming to this waterfall. So, you know, it's... It, Essentially, it's like they've fallen down the waterfall, right? If you take a look, there's the water that's pouring down, that's cascading down. And now it's like they're trying to process everything. But because this has kind of hit them out of nowhere, they need time to really think about everything. They need time to figure out how things flow together. Because Aquarius, I feel like you're like, I already know what the hell this is. Um, and I feel like you've expressed that to them, right? I think that you've expressed certain things to them. I do feel like with this person, they are a habitual line stepper. So this person is definitely going to push your boundaries. They're going to see how far they can push you, what they can do to kind of like push your buttons to see how you feel. Like this may even be somebody who will purposely trigger you in order to create like an emotional reaction because that's how they know that you care when you're upset with them. But it's funny because I don't even feel like you're upset with them. I feel like you're you're like, okay, you know, you want to be a turd? You want to be an asshole? You want to play games, Peter Pan? That's cool. Go ahead. You know, don't let the don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. Like, I'm out. You know, you can take a look at my fine ass backside as I walk away. Like, it's that kind of energy for you. I feel like, like, I don't know why, Aquarius, but I get like you're very unbothered right now. You have too much shit going on in your life to worry about 
you know, whether or not this person is going to stop being a child and actually acknowledge, you know, how they feel about you. And I feel like you've definitely triggered this person to think about things differently. I think that you've triggered this, this spiritual awakening with this person where, you know, they have this new start if they want it. But I get that this roller coaster of talking and not talking and waiting and having to create these boundaries, I feel like for you, it's getting to a place where it's almost like, you know, this is going to be sad because I really do care about you, but I don't want to do it. It's, it, it, it's going to become too much. So your person right now during this time apart or during this time where I feel like things are a little wonky because I feel like they avoid things. I feel like for you, Aquarius, you hit things head on, right? It's like, you're not going to be passive aggressive. If you have something to say, you're going to say it. With this person, it's like they dance around the thing. They dance around whatever the problem is. Like, they're not able to honestly communicate how they feel about you for whatever the reason is. It's like they fight it. They, they, they fight their emotions. They fight their feelings. And I, I think that for you, it's just like, all right, right on. You know what I mean? But I definitely get right now, Aquarius, you've triggered this person significantly. And what you've triggered in them is like a brand new perspective on love, brand new perspective on you, on life. And you're forcing this person, what are you triggering, right? You're triggering this emotional ascension. You're triggering the spiritual awakening, you know, that this person never had before they had met you. Now let's get these other cards too, um, to see what the hell is going on over here. If you haven't already, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. All right. What messages do you have for Aquarius when it comes to them and their person of interest romantically? Yeah, I feel like this person is threatened. I feel like they're bothered. But you know what, Aquarius? I feel like they're threatened and they're bothered by the fact that you could take it or leave it. I'm not saying, Aquarius, you don't care about this person because I think you do. But at the same point in time, I don't know why, but I'm getting like almost like a level of detachment. And I feel like with your person, they're very lonely right now. Like they're, I feel like your person is upset also Aquarius because you're not fighting with them. It's like, I'm not going to do this song and dance with you. You know, when you're done being a child, come hit me. But until then, like, I'm not doing it. And I feel like this person is bothered because you're not putting forth the same effort that I feel like other people do. And that's why it's like their ego is hurt. Like this person has a huge ass Le uh, Leo. I almost said Leo. Maybe you guys are dealing with a Leo. Leo, Scorpio, Aries. It's possibly Libra. I don't know why Libra just came in. But I feel like this person's ego is hurt. I feel like you've damaged their ego. And I think it's because you're not interested in the fluff. You're not interested in the bullshit. You guys want a serious, solid relationship or it's not worth your time or energy. And I feel like with this person, you know, they're kind of taking a step back here saying, you know, well, why are they not chasing me? Right? Why, why is Aquarius over here so unbothered? Listen, if I could make a fucking Aquarius card, I feel like this would be an Aquarius card right here. Like, is that not you, Aquarius? Like, unbothered, right? The unbothered card to me, um, and there's another one called unfazed in this deck. It reminds me of the Emperor Empress energy. It's like, I, I'm too booked and busy to be bothered over something that you're throwing a fit over. And with this person, it's like, they're so nosy. They want to know what you're doing. They want to know what you're up to. They want to know who the fuck you're talking to. Um, you know, this person is very curious, but I also get the sense that this person likes to compare themselves to you. And I feel like Aquarius, you may have more than this person, which is why their ego is getting in the way here. And I feel like this person is like really, really in your business and very nosy. Again, they're extra triggered. I think that they're upset here because, you know, you're over here and I don't think player, like I don't feel like you're playing them, but I feel like you're playing a game, right? Like you're over here like, oh, you want to play ball, Scarecrow? Don't threaten me with a good time. You know, I ain't the one. Like I feel like it's that type of energy. That's like my thing. Like when people want to play with air signs, I'm always like, that's a no-go. Like air signs are mean as hell. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, if you try to play one of them, it just doesn't work in my opinion. 
Granted, opinions are like assholes. We all have them. But I feel like Aquarius, you're playing this this situation very well. You're playing to win. You're 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 not over here playing hopscotch with this person. There is a level of strategy I feel like behind everything that you're doing and whatever you are doing to this person, it has them fucking stuck. It has them hooked on you. It has them, you know, looking at tarot readings, researching twin flames, trying to really understand what exactly this connection is. And I feel like with this person, it's like their head is in the clouds. They're trying to process everything. I think that like you, you confuse them. You're hard to read for this person for whatever the reasoning is. And it can be because you're ignoring them. Like you're not, you're not giving this person the time of day. Like I don't think Aquarius that this person really truly understands how you really do feel about them. And it can be because you block them. It can be the fact that you're just not dealing with it. And I feel like whatever you're doing, it has this person in their head because their antics and their fuckery, it's not working. For some of you guys, you legit block this person. But I get overwhelmingly, it's like this person is trying to look for answers and they're even turning to, you know, tarot, to psychics, to researching online this connection. And that's coming in strongly, I feel like. Because again, they're trying to figure out how to win. This person is trying to figure out how to get what they want, right? But on top of that, I also feel like too, this person, you know, they may have somebody else in the background that is not happy for you or you may have somebody like, they want to win because they want to be happy with you. And at the same point in time, you being with anybody else, like that really bothers them. The idea of that, it pisses them off. It's like, no, you know, I know I have issues right now, but I want you to wait for me. Yeah, because I think that this person is confused. I think that you confuse this person by the way you move. I feel like when you don't talk to them, when you don't give them the attention that they need when they're throwing a fit, it triggers them. It puts them in their head. And what happens, Aquarius, is this person wants you more. Because I feel like with your person, they're used to having a lot of chaos and drama around them, which is a bad habit. And for you, you're over here like, I don't have time. I'm out. Men in black. Did you, you didn't see this. And I, and I think that that's the difference between you and your person's energy. Now, let's see how they view things on their end, which I'm really curious about. Um, all right. How does this person view uh, their relationship, their romantic relationship with Aquarius? Six of Wands. They view you as a trophy. They view you as somebody that's very beautiful, somebody that's in control. Um, you know, you, you're recognized. People respect you. What, how do they view their role romantically? How do they view their role romantically with Aquarius? The Ace of Cups. See what I'm saying? Like the Fool. They, they don't understand. Here's the thing about the Fool, right? The Fool doesn't understand why they're going on the journey or why they're being led, but they're meant to take a leap of faith. With this person, they, they feel like they're almost like a fool in love, I feel like. How do they view Aquarius's energy in the relationship? Aquarius's role in the relationship? Five of Pentacles. You're like, I'm not fucking talking to you. Right? Unless you come correct, I don't have anything to say. I feel like they miss you. I feel like there's, there's a lot of conflict here between, you know, you and them for whatever the reasoning is, but they feel like you're not talking. Cross watchers, you're going to have to flip it, so keep that in mind. Also, all of these cards um, with the tarot deck... These are, this is the extended. So the extended is going to be available on Vimeo or Patreon. And the link will be in the comment section below. And also too, I am doing personal readings. So you can book a personal reading by checking out the description. The link to my website is there as well as where you guys can pick up the Neon Awakening uh, tarot deck, which is a dope ass deck. All right. I feel like you're not talking to them. I feel like you're not engaging with them. And I feel like part of this person feels stupid, right? They, they, they feel like, what am I doing? What is, what is stopping this person from truly committing and connecting to Aquarius? What, what is blocking them? What do they feel is blocking them? Justice. There's some things they have to clean up first, I feel like, in their life. I also get to your, 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 person, your person has a problem when it comes to control. And the other thing that kept wanting to come out here was um, the Empress. So they may be attached to a mother figure or a mother of a child 
or it may be a family situation, but I also get with this person, it's a sense of control. It, it, it's a sense of they want you to come to them type of energy. And I'm going to say this with, with Aquarius being a masculine energy, um, you guys have to try harder than let's say Cancer or Taurus to tap into that level of femininity. But once you're able to tap into that femininity and you have that masculine energy underneath it, that makes you unstoppable because the Empress attracts, the Empress doesn't go get. And I feel like with this person, they're used to everybody coming to them. They're used to everybody bending at the knee for them, which is a very feminine type of energy. So with this person, it's almost like they're trying to regain a sense of control, but in a feminine sense. It's not in a masculine sense where this person is like, hey, I want, I want you, like, let's do this. It's not that type of energy. It's an energy where it's mind games, it's fuckery, it's like emotional warfare, it feels like with this person. My crown chakra is going off like crazy right now. What is the, um, what is this person thinking about heavily when it comes to Aquarius? The queen of wands. What action to take? Um, what, what is their next action towards Aquarius romantically? What is this person's next action towards Aquarius romantically? Nine of swords. As of right now, they're really in their head in deep thought trying to figure out what to do because I do get like with this person, they're in limbo and they're in deep thought about what needs to happen. And I also feel like too, there's a lot of healing that's going on with this person, Aquarius. Naturally, you being the water bearer, you are healing this person, right? The star card is a healing energy. And I feel like there's a lot of healing that's taking place behind the scenes that you don't even realize. Um, what is this person's intentions romantically with Aquarius? Strength. I mean, I feel like you're their end game, right? I feel like, you know, you're somebody that's very magnetic. They want you. They're very focused on you right now. And what's the best potential outcome here for Aquarius and their person? Best potential outcome. Three of Cups, the Empress. Ooh, Aquarius, I love this. I can't wait to see if this Empress energy is your energy or if it's your person's energy. So Aquarius, just a couple of things. Um, one this person is 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 definitely in deep thought about you and i feel like you have this effect on them that no one has ever had which is why it's taking them a step back to try to really understand it right um but we're gonna go over all of these cards in the extended where we clarify each one and we go really in depth to try to understand this person's psyche and this person's perspective also too uh we do do oracle messages at the end so if this is something you're curious about, please feel free to click on the link in the comment section below. It will take you straight to Vimeo where you guys can purchase the extended. If this is where we leave off, I love you guys so much. I wish you guys nothing but love, light, and success. And Aquarius, whatever you're doing, keep doing it because it's only a matter of time before everybody sees how um, bright your light is shining. Peace, guys.